everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing well. So for today's daily motivation, I thought I would tell you each a story. Uh, and if you're watching this, I hope you watch it till the very end. Definitely watch it the end because there's a moral here, there's a lesson that really impacted me and I hope it does the same for you. So this story is about a, a rich business executive who made his first big break, got his first big paycheck, big profit, and what did he do with it? Like, like all of us might do. He went out and he bought a brand new Jaguar. All right, so he bought a brand new Jaguar, fresh off the lot, had the new car smell and all that, and he was driving it on home that day. All right, he was driving home without a care in the world, life was kind of just passing him by because he was so focused and fixated on this brand new car, brand new car. So he's driving down the street, heading home, cars are passing by, he doesn't even, he barely notices, people passing by, barely notices, sees kids playing on the side of the road, doesn't even notice. As he's driving by, out of the corner of his eye, he sees this red object come flying towards the car. It's a brick. It's a brick and it lands right on the side of his car, right on the driver's side door. And he's so in shock, he doesn't even stop the car for a quick second. He just, he's so fixated on, on, oh my God, what just happened? So eventually he slams on the brakes, he puts the car in reverse, he backs it up a little bit to where the, the spot of where it happened, gets out of his car, all right, and looks at his driver's side door. And there's a huge dent in that driver's side door. This guy immediately gets real mad and starts looking around. He finds a kid. All right, right across the street uh, who was right there when it happened and got irate, got so mad at this child. How could you do this? Why would you do this? How, how could you? This is a brand new car. It's not, even, it's not even 15 minutes old and look at what you did to it. It's brand new and now it's ruined. This little kid comes running around the front of the car over to this young man and this kid has tears in his eyes. And he said, Mr. I'm so, so sorry. I did not know what else to do. I didn't have, you know, I, I panicked. I'm sorry. I grabbed the brick. I needed to get your attention. You were the only one around here. I, I, I need your help. All right, my older brother, who's in a wheelchair, I was, I was walking him home, we were playing, and he fell off the sidewalk into the street. He's too heavy, I can't pick him up. I don't know what to do, I'm panicking. Can you please, please help me? Can you please help me? I need your help. So this, this young man who started off you know, having steam coming out of his ears and his nose and his mouth is now trying to swallow the lump in his throat that's now developed, and he looks at this young boy um, again, and, and everything kind of just washes away, and he says, of course, of course I'll help you. Where is he? So the two of them run back around the car, a little bit ways back down the road, over to the sidewalk where the sidewalk meets the road and they found his older brother. He was cut up a little bit, he was bruised up a little bit. And this young man not only helped him back into the wheelchair, but also made sure his cuts were clean, made sure nothing was, you know, nothing needed any further attention, he made sure that he was okay and 100% and after getting him back into the wheelchair. As he says his goodbyes to this young man, the young man comes over, gives the, gives the young man a hug. Right? This little boy gives the young man a hug and says, I can't thank you enough. God bless you, I can't thank you enough. Thank you again from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate it, my brother appreciates it. Just thank you, thank you for helping me when I needed you. And the young man looks at the little boy and says, of course, of course, happy to help. As this young man is getting ready to get back into his car and kind of shut the door, he takes a breath and he looks off into the distance and he can see this young boy, no more than eight years old, pushing his older brother down the road in his wheelchair because they were heading home too. All right, so this young guy gets into his car, back into the Jaguar that it's again now, it's like 25 minutes old. He drives home too. He gets home, parks the car, gets out of his car, closes the door, and for a minute there he kind of just stands and takes a look at the driver's side door in the, and that dent, okay? And for the rest of the lifetime of that car, that man never fixed that dent in the car. He never got it clean, he never got it fixed, never got it buffed out, because to him, it was so much more than a blemish on a car. It was so much more than that, it was a message. And the message is real simple. It's don't let life pass you by so fast. Don't let life go by so fast that someone needs to throw a brick at your window to get your attention. All throughout our lives, all throughout our days, our weeks, our months, our years, okay? Life is going to whisper at us. It's gonna tell us different things, okay? Some things are gonna be super explicit and noticeable. Other things, we're gonna to have to stop and listen a little bit louder for, listen a little bit more intently, okay? And you know, some of the, most of these things are gonna be there and our goal is to take those things and use them to add fuel to our fire, to push ourselves further. We celebrate the victories, we learn from the stumbling blocks along the way and we always keep moving forward. And if we don't listen to those little things that life has to bring to us, all those little subliminal messages that we're here to intake and kind of slow down to be able to take, eventually life's gonna throw a brick at you. Eventually it's gonna come. So my goal for you guys you know, as you watch this and as you get ready to tackle the rest of your day, your week, your month, or your year, okay, take a, take a second every day to slow things down, take a breath, and listen to everything going on around you. Take a listen to everything, all right? Right here and out there. Listen to it all, okay? Because I promise there's things in there 
that are gonna get you to the place that you wanna be, get you from A to B, from where you are to where you wanna be. All you gotta do is take a step back and listen, okay? So I'd much rather you listen for the words, listen for the whispers, instead of waiting for the break, okay? Because it might be coming. All right, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you for pushing yourself. Remember, never settle for anything less than great, okay? And always keep pushing yourself. I'll see you guys soon, bye.